So you, you have commented that some people may carry the virus, have the virus, but present no symptoms. That's so correct. being symptom free doesn't necessarily indicate safe to have contact with other people. 40% of people with the flu, because I, I think it's important to, to draw the parallels between the flu and COVID-19 because we all know, like for instance this year, how much did you prepare your corporation for the flu? Most of us would have flu shots given mm -hmm. before. Uh, we would have telemedicine available when people get sick uh, and, and so forth. We have the usual benefits to be able to get care because we do have treatment for the flu, of course. And so in comparing this with the flu, there are some very key differences. A, we don't have immunization. B, we don't have medication to treat it. Um, C, with the flu, 40% of people never get symptomatic that have it. And we think that with COVID-19, that's probably the case also. Um, with the flu, there's a degree to which you pass it on to other people. COVID-19 appears to be much more infectious than the flu. Like one person with COVID-19 is probably gonna give it to two or three other people. Whereas with the flu, it, it tends to put you down, you uh, self-isolate uh, automatically, and then you're not nearly as infectious. Mm -hmm. So if we think about the difference between this and influenza, similarities in that it's congestion, those things, but it is much more contagious and potentially more severe. Is, is that really what people should know about the difference between this and the flu? Yep, that's exactly it. It's spread the same way, that it is more contagious, and for people who have uh, certain conditions or are older, it can be much more lethal from what we see right now. And that's the, the, the message for leaders to keep in mind as you, as you wrestle with what the right thing is to do uh, in the future.